Okay, so what we're going to do is do a quick comparison between the sim, uh, the way I have it set up at the minute, and the way I can optimize it with the new NVIDIA app that I've downloaded and installed, the one that's in beta. The NVIDIA, what's the name was? Oh, I can't even think of what the name of this. Whatever it is, it's the NVIDIA app. So there's some optimizing I can do on the sim and see if it'll keep my FPS at a constant. I'm not really hunting a massive FPS. I'm not going to get a ridiculously massive FPS with a 3080. Probably get into the 40 or the 50 series cards maybe. But um, I just want a constant FPS, no stutters. I want to set it and forget it and just play the same. I'm sick of trying to get the FPS. It's just a crazy thing. It goes, it's, it's round and round in circles. But we'll do a quick flight. Adam Rabin in my favorite helicopter at the minute, the Chinook. Jump in live, active on the runway. And just do a quick fly it around and back onto the runway and see what the FPS sits at at the minute with my sim settings the way they are and then we'll optimize it with the optimizing that NVIDIA has not the automatic one, the one that they have actually checked the sim out with the new app can tell you what they think is the best optimization. So that sounds a bit loud. It's hard to get the settings of the sound right. What control panel do you want? I don't think I have them too loud at the minute for aircraft engine. Cockpit, maybe we'll put it down to 15 as well, 10. In around 10. It'll do. Back in. I've noticed this with the new Chinook, it actually does this when you go out to the control panel and come back in again. Don't ask me why. It takes off itself. It's okay. I'll slowly get it back down onto the runway here. So, the minute we're sitting in 37s, high 30s, let's just get it out of here. Just keep saying anybody that wants a helicopter, this is the one to get so easy to fly. So we'll just do a quick straight out departure up around Southland Shopping Centre down the Hume Highway and back to the airport. See what our FPS is staying at. Come out of the golf course here. Take a left turn. Head down towards that tower there, which is down near Southland Shopping Centre. We're getting a constant 40. No stutters. This is what the way my sim is at the minute. Which I actually should show. So the settings at the moment. Run full screen, 1440 TA. I might optimize some of these and see. Right now I don't want to optimize them. Ultra, I could probably could drop a few of those down. Ultra, my system is high end, but. 
that's my settings at the moment. I'll go back and disregard. Forty three isn't bad here. We'll take a left here. Over just below Southland. Follow the European Highway back down to Mordialic. Minton. Getting in the thirties and forties. Up over Mordialic and Mordialic Creek. Follow Mordialic Creek up here. up onto Boundary Road here. Follow Boundary Road. Bring us back up to Moorabbin. As you can see this helicopter pretty easy to fly. It just hangs in the air. So we'll in here over the golf course Rabin Tower Schnuck 001 for a full stop on 35 left if we had beyond ATC we might actually get an answer back but I'm damned if I'm using the stupid ATC that's in the air same at the minute because it's crap. So let's bring her down here. Unlike a plane, this is a lot more forgiven when you're landing. the best landing into the runway but let's straighten it up so we're in the 40s that's pretty good If I optimize a little bit more, 40s aren't bad. Bring it up the active runway here, onto the taxiway. Bit of a headwind.
get under there. That's my pad, so that was in the high 30s, low 40s. We'll do we'll jump out. I actually won't jump out. What I'll do is I will exit out of the light. Go to the main menu. Now the app, like I said, that I installed is the newer NVIDIA one. So the GeForce Experience instead of that one, it's the new beta version that comes up there. In here has a few extra things in it. So for the graphics, you can go to what you've installed. It'll check what your settings are and give you a recommended. Like you see, I have a lot of ultras. The X11 to 12, I'm not sure about that one, but full screen ultras switch down to high couple of things here that they say I should switch to high instead of ultra. So what I will do is I will do the recommendations apart from the resolution it reckons I can up it. Mm -hmm. I might leave it at the low one for now. I'm not going to switch to DirectX. I'll switch the other ones and see, put that off to one side, go here, jump into our general settings, I'm going to leave the resolution as you know what, we might just put it up to what it recommends and see. It's going to do no harm, can turn it down again. Recommends 3840 by... So we'll do that. Go through the rest of them. Ambient inclusion says for me to turn it down to high. So we put it at high. Filtering, where is it? Only problem is I wish it was the same as the same was set up. Let's look for it says to put it to eight. Anti-aliasing says to use, we'll try it and see. And I'll switch it back in video, DLSS. Super resolution. Bloom, it says to turn it to, leave it on, okay. Buildings, I've got them on. Just to put it to high. Contact shadows. High. Reflections. 192. Depth of field. Depth of field, depth of field. I'm flying past the depth of field high. I'm leaving direct X11, I'm leaving that on. Full screen. Identity FX, I've disabled that, that's okay. 
global rendering quality. Custom. Okay, must have switched. Grass and bushes high. I thought I had it on high, but I don't. Light chats. High. Object level of detail. Now this might be, I've got it at 200. Let's say I have to put it to 150. Selections in high. Reflex. Not sure where that is. Someone's probably going to shout at me and go, it's there, it's there. I don't see it. RTX DNSS set to It says performance, okay. Shadow maps. Set to fifteen. Green shadows set to okay, leave it to one I have. Train vector data. Unless that's up here somewhere. There it is there, set that to high, texture resolution, set that to high, don't set that to off, set that to high. Texture super sampling, I already set that to six by six. That to high texture trees uh, set those to high parametric clouds put them in on trust uh, set those to high as well. We think set it off, okay. Water waves, set them to medium. Water waves, set to medium. Windshield effects set them to high. Okay, so we save that. Okay, that I'm gonna have to go back, restart the sim. 
Let's see if the NVIDIA new NVIDIA app with its recommendations actually helps with the sim. So it'll be good to see whether I notice any difference. Did the FPS jump up a bit? Okay, so again, let us do a quick quick flight out of here at the Moorabbin Airport, run by Southland Shopping Centre and down to Mordialic Creek, back to the airport again. So, just lift up. That's not me flying her correctly, that's why. Right over the trees in the golf course. We'll take a left here. down towards the tower. In the mid forties I think. Most buzzers are ending on the sim, which is good. Head over Minton Bunnings here, launching the Peen Highway. saying it but this helicopter is absolutely amazing and the easiest helicopter I've flown so far Come down here to towards Mordialic. Head up Mordialic Creek. I can see I've caught my eyes 40 all the time, most of the time. I'll head up on your road here. I'm 
back up towards the airport. Come in over the golf course. Should line us up for 35 left. We'll a bit of a turn here. To the edge of the golf course. Robin Tower, Chinook 001 for full stop landing, 35 left. Try and make a better land than this time of it. And come in straight. Better. I haven't noticed any massive degradation in the detail or anything. I've noticed a uh, constant 40 FPS, which is brilliant. So, looks like we're getting a few more FPS and a solid one as well. Take a turn off the active runway. The more I fly this helicopter, the more I love it. Even more. Every single time. I can't wait for the UE to come out as well. And these will probably be the two helicopters I fly most in the sim. I might actually go up to the guys and park up with them. And take a left in here. Actually, no, we'll park in here as well. <laughs> okay, that's set. Not as good landing, but put the brakes on. But yeah, looking at that, it seems to be a constant 40 FPS, which I'm really happy with. So, having looked at the before and after, it doesn't seem to be any difference at all in FPS between the NVIDIA tweak and the way I had it set so I pretty much had the settings set correctly so I'm probably going to return it back to the settings I had and just be happy with the FPS with that